gasoline. Um, I'm very excited about it because I don't get to go to museums very often um, out of my own laziness, but um, I'm excited to see the art. Also, my friend Santi Gold is performing tonight, so. Well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Beastie Boys and, and Mike D, and so um, I, I would come to like, you know, a Jamba Juice opening if Mike D was there. So. Uh, well, I'm just excited that it's opening here, Transmission LA, AV Club. Um, you know, I'm very excited that Mercedes-Benz funded this whole thing, and there's, there's a lot going on in here, so I hope everybody enjoys. I mean, I wish I was actually more artistic than I am, and I, I you know, I'm an actor, I guess that's considered an, an art form, and I try to paint, and I play the piano, I've been taking piano lessons for a little, little bit now, so, I'm, you know. That's... Well, I, I'm really curious to see, uh, you know, what Mike D has, has put together, because he's, He's, he's put together some visual art, I guess. He's got some music going. Uh, it, it feels like it's going to be very unique out there. So I'm, I'm excited to see what's up. Well, design is design. Ultimately, we are one community, be it doing fashion design or car design, interior design, even music design and visual. Everything is all kind of intertwined because it's what's um, informing where we're going as a culture. I didn't know what to expect, but still, it's still unexpected. I mean, the pinwheels we, we saw, and uh, it looks like there's some, some headphones over there for this. It's a very creative environment. Um, um, well, I'm still taking in um, the exhibition, but from what I see so far, it's it's pretty cool, and and all these different artists here. I love that, and. and it's Auntie Gold performing. I'm really excited to see her. So it's a really great night, great art. I'm going to come back on another day and actually really take my time and, and see everything even, even more.
that's cool. That's cool. Alright, good. That's all. <laughs> It is a dialogue medium, it is a internet platform, it is a blog where people with especially interest in music, in fashion, in art and good design and also a brand like Mercedes breaking rules, being different, doing the unexpected, uh, are coming together. And what we see here in Los Angeles is the second big uh, transmission, this time curated by Mike D. And we are really looking forward to some very exciting days here in Los Angeles. That is the final prototype, you know, so we're kind of extra and into merges together. Do you have a chance to see it inside? Um, we saw inside, but I think like they, they had like some elements like that. Yeah. The, the, um, yeah, these tribes. tribes. I think we saw there. That yeah. was one of the things that we really were really, thought was really kind of different for Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to keep it luxurious, but also kind of, you know, fresh and almost a bit aggressive. Yeah, like they lift yeah, and, and it, like when it turns red, it looks like it's angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? You know the, the movie Terminator, right? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the inspiration of that. You know, we want to have it really mean and aggressive. You know? and, uh, yeah, obviously, the sharp lines. We are shooting very much. It's a great opportunity to be part in this exhibition because we consider our design as part of automotive art. And I think this car in particular is very avant-gardistic, it's very progressive, it's very aggressive, and so I think it's a great stage having it here. One of the things that we wanted to do, uh, Rob McKinley, my co-designer, and myself, with how we sort of presented the car here, is I, I didn't want to just present the car sort of in front. I think like a lot of times if you see one of these things, you'll see the car kind of like on a platform in front of the show, and it's like, here's your car, and then here's the fine art experience. And I wanted to try to purposefully kind of blur the lines a little bit and like present, it was, it was kind of inspired by actually going to, to Stuttgart and meeting some of the designers that worked on this car. I think uh, with this show, with Transmissions LA, AV Club, it was a combination of picking, there's some artists that you know, I had associations with that I've worked with over the years, or my band has, like Mike Mills, who's in the show, or Sage Vaughn, who I've known for a while, or Tom Sachs, who created a, a, an incredible installation in the front of the museum, who I've known from New York for a long time. That was maybe the first like, kind of jumping off point, and then it was just kind of like in some cases, like Jim Drain and Ara Peterson have this incredible pinwheel installation that's here. That was something I'd never gotten to see in person. I'd only seen it actually uh, on, the, on the internet. So selfishly, I wanted to see it. So I was like, all right, can we do that here? So I think it was kind of like creating things that I felt like that I would really want to see, you know, kind of almost like a fantasy sequence of what I would want to uh, show to be like. And that was the great opportunity of being able to curate this show. That's great.